All right, welcome to the Honors Precalculus Syllabus video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the um, expectations in the syllabus of our Honors Precalculus course. So um, your instructor is myself, Ms. Peck. Here's my email. Our website, everything will be housed in Canvas, so you should be able to find everything you need here in Canvas. <coughs> Excuse me. Some things that you might need. You might need a three ring binder or folder for the notes that you might take. Um, keep in mind too that you might want a notebook. So um, especially for you e-learning students, if you don't have a piece of paper um, in front of you to take notes, it'd be really important that you have a notebook and that you just take notes in your notebook. So I would also suggest adding notebook here. Um, of course, you'll need a pencil to take notes. You'll need your Chromebook and charger. And then you will need a calculator. I have here a TI-84. That's our recommended one. But we do have a few that you could pick from. So this is uh, um, some recommended calculators to give you an idea of what um, would be a good calculator to have. Um, now, we do understand, too, that some of you um, might not have a calculator and in the past maybe you rented a calculator from the school, we will no longer be able to rent calculators with everything that's going on in the world right now. So we are gonna make some um, exceptions this year that we maybe wouldn't have made in the past where you can use a calculator on your Chromebook or on your phone. So we've put some apps in here. Um, this graph and calculator 83 um, is good for the iPhones and the iPads. Um, so if you go to the App Store and type this in, you should be able to find the app there. Um, also, Calc 84, this is probably my favorite one if you're looking for a, um, an 84 calculator. This is an 83, so it's a little bit older style. Um, so this one would be my favorite personally, the Calculator 84. Um, and then also the Calculator X. Um, so if you go, if you put into your app store or if you have an Android, I'm not really sure what it's called, but whatever the app store is on your phone and you type either of these three calculators in and download them, they should all be free. Um, and then they should look just like a calculator would look. It, I think the 84 looks literally just like this, but on your smartphone. Um, so those are available for you. Um, you will need it. It's very important that you, we have these. It's in this class, you will definitely need a smart calculator. Um, if you have any questions about the calculators, please put it into our class discussion and I can answer those for you or send me an email. Now, grading for this school year is going to look a little different. Our summative assessments or tests are going to be 85% of our grade um, and checkpoints are going to be 15. So in the past, it was 90 and 10. Um, this school year, they are asking that we change it to 85 and 15. So a little bit less on our tests and a little bit more on our checkpoints. Now, checkpoints will be consistent of our mini checks. Um, as well as our quizzes. So mini checks for the most part will be completed completely on Math Excel and checkpoints are going to be on Canvas. All tests will also be on a Canvas quiz. Okay, here's a why just grading policy if you want to look at that. Now homework. Students will be given homework on a regular basis. It's really important that you're doing your homework. Um, and also keep in mind that, like I talked about in that last video, you need to get 70% on your Math Excel homework for the mini check to open. So I'm not asking that you get 100% on all of your homework assignments, but I do ask that you get at least a 70%, right? So you're right there, at least a 70% so that that mini check can open. Um, checkpoints. Um, the big thing here is that checkpoints are 15% of your grade. No checkpoints will be given the opportunity for a retake. Um, tardies, so tardies will work the same way as they always have. Um, however, we won't have the Raptor station this year, so I will just be issuing you a tardy in my own class. But I am very strict about my tardies. Um, especially this year, we have 10 minute passing periods. There is no excuse for being late to my class. Um, if you are, you will receive a tardy. Um, tests, all tests will be um, on Canvas and they will be 85% of your grade. In the past, there has been a non-calculator and a calculator portion for every test. Um, 
I don't really know what's going to happen with that. That's an obstacle that we are going to jump um, when we get a little bit closer to our test day. Um, now, I will say with tests, for you e-learners and for students that are hybrid, when you are not in class, so let's say I'm giving a uh, test on Tuesday, and on Tuesday, um, you are an e-learning student, so you're not in school, and you're a Fox student, let's say, so you're not in school, you're e-learning online, right? So only the DEN students are in class that day or the full-time students. Anybody that's in the class is going to take the test on Canvas, sitting in class, typical test day. Anybody that is home, so the hybrid students that are home and the e-learners that are home are going to zoom into the class. So I'm gonna send out a link and if we have class, let's say our class period is period one, which is 725 to 805, you are gonna be zooming in at, at period one, 725, and taking the test on Zoom. Okay, now if you have a specific requirement or a specific problem, then you can email me, but everybody should be Zooming on test day if you're not in front of me. Um, retakes, we will have two weeks to do our retakes once the test is handed back. Um, we'll have some type of relearning or test corrections of some sort so that we can be ready for our retake. Now, remote learning expectations. So these are some remote learning when you're at home and you're not at school. So we will have our on-site days as when you're in class, and we will have our remote days when you're not in the classroom, but you're at home. So remote learning, student expectations during remote learning. Remote learning requires a great deal of self-motivation for students to direct their own learning in a virtual environment. Regular active participation is needed for a student to be successful. Attendance and e-learning is important as attendance in a traditional classroom. In order to learn, complete courses, graduate, students need to log into Canvas every school day and participate in the activities. Okay, it is your responsibility to be doing your work every single day. Okay. Now keep in mind, online learning is also flexible. So you don't need to log in at the exact school times, right? So if I'm saying, okay guys, today is lesson two, you need to do these three learning activities and your mini check, you don't have to be doing them between 7.25 and 8.05 in first period, right? You could do them at 9 p.m. at night if you want it, okay? The tests, we're asking that you zoom in on time, but for any other day, you know, it is flexible, okay? However, what's not flexible is saying, on le I'm gonna do lesson two eight days late, okay? Lesson two needs to be done on the lesson two day, okay? So make sure you're keeping on pace. You need to be checking your email regularly. You need to read the course-related news and announcements on Canvas. Um, you need to know how to locate and complete assignments. You need to engage in assignments. You need to log in um, to any digital textbooks or curriculum. You need to share work. Um, you need to participate in classroom discussions, right? So if I'm saying, if you're confused, participate in the discussion, then use that discussion. Um, you need to submit assignments by their due dates in Canvas, right? So in Canvas, those are gonna be due dates on things and you need to do them by the due date, not eight days late. Look for assignments um, that teachers have reviewed or graded so that you can know what you did well and didn't do well on. You need to log into Canvas and check the course every day. Um, you need to make sure you familiar self, familiarize yourself with the course structure, read the documents, identify established communication channels, confirm um, technical requirements, be patient and respectful, Plan your time, have personal time. Do not wait until the last minute to do your assignments, okay? We need to make sure we're doing things on time and following up. Make connections with your classmates, right? Ask questions, don't wait until the last minute. Even though you're online, we still have that discussion board forum that you can um, ask questions and help each other out so that you are still feeling connected to the classroom. Um, on-site learning, students who are on-site, um, 
will follow their course schedule as they are in the building. Students will be expected to follow all rules and policies related to health and safety. Students will be inspected, expected to engage both synchronous, synchronous and asynchronous learning um, through all the outcomes. To be successful, same type of things, okay? Um, these are just some extra expectations for my classroom. No food or drinks are allowed. Um, follow all the rules in the student handbook, no extra credit, no cell phones unless you're using it for a calculator or headphones unless you're using it um, for a video. Um, we have got our retake policy down here and that's pretty much it. So remember, if you have any questions about anything I said in this video, that you are able to go to our outcome six, lesson one discussion here and post any questions you may have about the syllabus or anything that I've explained. If you don't, then go ahead and move on to the next activity.